Hey everyone, today's November 4th. I am on my way to school a tad bit early. It's because school and home is about 25 minutes away from each other. So once I get on that side, it would make no sense to come home. So we have me and my boyfriend have a few things to do over there. And we're just gonna hang out over there for the rest of the day. And tonight we will be going to Cheesecake Factory, which I'm excited because I didn't get a chance to go yet. So I'm a little excited about that. So let's go. We're driving baby's car today. through the first few things that my teacher has us do before we start anything. We come in, we clean our table. Then we get our supplies for the day. Now I'm here a tad bit early, so she hasn't unlocked all the drawers with the needles and syringes and stuff. So I'll just get what I can get now. I got a little cup. I got my cotton balls to put on after I stick some more. My alcohol prep pads to make sure that the site is clean before I puncture. Some more pads and then I also have band-aids. Now the cotton swabs are for those who are allergic to adhesive. Well you'll always need cotton swabs but for those that are allergic to adhesives you put that on and then there's a certain tape that you put on that acts as a band-aid so I won't be able to get that until she gets here. This is a setup for a blood draw with the syringe method. We, I forgot my gloves, but you'll need gloves, tourniquet, cotton to cover the site after insertion, your alcohol pad, a band-aid, the syringe tube, a needle, and then here is the lavender tube which contains EDTA. You'll also need a caddy for the tube to be in that it's stable so that when you are done collecting the blood, you'll just transfer it into the tube. And this is a setup for a blood draw vacutainer method. You'll need gloves, a tourniquet, cotton, band-aid, alcohol prep pad, transfer tube, transfer needle, and any tube. Now I'm just using the lavender tube. What you'll need to do is connect the transfer needle to the transfer tube, like so. And once you find your vein, you are into the vein you'll bring your tube into the transfer tube that will puncture the needle inside of the tube. Um, it's hard explaining, but I'll show you in a video. And once you're in the vein, you'll just pop the tube in and it'll collect the blood for you. This is a setup for blood draw butterfly method. These are for people who have smaller veins. It's just like the vacutainer. Um, you'll need gloves, tourniquet, cotton, alcohol prep pad, band-aid, butterfly needle, transfer tube, and blood collection tube. 
You'll connect your transfer tube to the transfer needle, and once you're in the vein, you'll hook the tube in and you'll collect your blood. Hey, you guys, we are just getting out of class. Now we're on our way to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> November 5th and we are getting ready to go to the store because we are going to have a little get together with one of our friends from school. <laughs> 